it's uh, actually continues to dwindle. And uh, I used to have what two, two and a half to three large bags, very full. Now I have uh, one small bag that's not even quite full. So it, it's drastically reduced my uh, amount of waste that I produce, and I also uh, recycle more. And that has, has made a dent as well. But actually, I think two-thirds of it was compostable stuff. And lest you start thinking, well, I would have to have a yard the size of Rhode Island to do this because I produce so much kitchen and garden waste, the stuff shrinks as it rots. So I actually have in my compost bin right now, which is just a, about a two-and-a-half foot by two-and-a-half foot by uh, about three, three-and-a-half feet tall, uh, plastic bin, and uh, by the way, they sell plastic bins that are made from recycled plastic, so there's another benefit of composting. You can reuse something that's designed to last forever, and yet most people just uh, throw it away. So I think if we're going to make a material that lasts for thousands of years, we should at least make things out of it that we want to last thousands of years instead of making everything disposable. Uh, I, I just think that makes sense. So... Uh, compost bin. Uh, my bin has, uh, if I were to put everything in it all at once right now that I have put in over the last year, uh, it would probably fill up five or six bins of that size at least. But I add it little by little as I produce it. It decays, it uh, rots, decomposes, and it shrinks as it does that. And a, a big five-gallon bucket full of compostable material after three months or so uh, shrinks down to, pff, I've never actually measured exactly how much, but I'm just guessing here, uh, a five-gallon bucket down to maybe half a gallon. Uh, it's amazing how much it shrinks. So you really don't have to have that huge a space. In fact, uh, a lot of people have uh, special types of bins that they can actually keep inside, uh, like worm bins and things like that. And they even do that in apartment buildings in the middle of uh, large cities. So you don't necessarily have to have a lot of space to compost. Uh, what can you use compost for just about anything garden-related? Uh, it's been shown that uh, putting three or four inches of compost on your garden uh, as opposed to a garden that doesn't have compost added, will increase your yields of fruits and vegetables and herbs by, uh, I forget the exact number, but it's it's at least twice over. Uh, so very, very significantly. And so uh, if you're concerned about uh, maybe the, the growing population and <laughs> producing your own food, uh, modern farms are really built around a very inefficient design. They're, they're built to be inefficient. Uh, usually, uh, I should say naturally, out in the natural world, we have layers of things growing together. We have a variety of things growing together. Uh, if one insect comes in, we don't lose our entire crop if we're gardening in a very natural way because we would only lose a couple of plants and we've got 50 other plants growing on the same land or 100 or 200 and so this is what we find out in the wild is a big uh, a variety of things and guess what we're finding that the healthier diets have a wide variety of foods makes you wonder if nature's kinda trying to communicate something there hey what I produce is what you should eat so uh, that's a more natural way of doing it. And modern farms are really designed very inefficiently, especially the conventional ones. Uh, organic farms are getting uh, going very quickly in this direction of m more uh, a more natural design, a more natural setup. But the, the conventional farms are, are really designed to just produce a ton of one thing and to do it in the most inefficient, uh, wasteful manner possible. So... You know, if you're thinking about population issues, if you grow food right, we've got more than enough space to grow a large surplus of food for everyone on the planet. Uh, if you are wasteful and uh, grow food in a conventional, chemicalized, uh, cash crop, you know, huge farming way, uh, then we might be in trouble. So, uh, just one thing to think about there: uh, compost will double or perhaps even triple the amount of food you can get out of 
one uh, whatever amount of land you have. So if you have one acre, uh, you'll be able to 